your boy blockchain coming at you with another bitcoin and eth update i uh, wanted to get an update out before the week we close just so i can um, really just share some of my thoughts on the overall market some possibilities and look at some of the most recent price action to try and um, get you know really get a rough idea of where we expect or where you know i personally expect some of the prices to land up um, in the near term as well as some of the long term. Uh, for those of you just joining my channel, I did just start a Discord. Um, actually, I'm going to pull that up first. I'm going to go through a couple things on there. Um, it is completely free to join, so make sure you guys jump on the link um, and feel free to join. We got about um, almost a hundred traders in there um, from ranging from all ranges full-time traders to those just beginning um, you got a lot of different charts ideas um, you know really just using it as a public resource for those to help learn um, and really kind of post some views some ideas of you know what we can look at some for the most recent price action uh, mostly I focus around ETH and Bitcoin because there is a 98% correlation between the two um, also do look at some alts as well especially upon some requests but I would um, you know highly recommend if you're not a member to go ahead and join and get some interaction going just because uh, you know the larger the community the more interaction the stronger we're going to be overall um, and I also just started Twitter both links are below on this video here so make sure you guys uh, click on those follow share some love especially if you like the content and then don't forget to subscribe to my channel I do want to say a huge huge thank you to everyone that has subscribed so far we are looking at um, I believe 16 subscribers so far um, so moving up and then even on the last video uh, it was pretty awesome to see that it's uh, you know up about 400 percent from my last view so starting to see a lot more action on the YouTube channel so I do want to say thank you guys make sure you guys do smash the likes and again hit that subscribe button if you enjoy my content uh, feel free to reach out and throw some comments if you have questions and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys later in the discord so without further ado Let's go ahead and dive into some Bitcoin. So really, we're so not too interested in covering all this past, but just want to focus mostly on the most recent that we have here. And like I said, mainly because we do have the weekly close coming up. And on the weekends, we have been known to have some crazy price action right before the weekly close. So if you want to take a look at where we've been kind of ranging so far over the past couple of weeks, obviously we had this huge dip um, and that was, you know, Overall, when the overall stock market had their huge crash as well, um, I'm seeing a pretty nice bounce so far. Um, you know, we're covering right down here at our weekly support level at just under 4,000, had a little wick through. Um, and right now, we are getting squeezed in between the 100 and the 200 EMA. So, the 100, I'm sorry, the 200 EMA at about 5,800, the 100 EMA at about 7,300, we'll call it. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if before the weekly close, we get a pump or even right after the weekly close where we close under it, and then we just get a strong pump to come right through it. Um, I am still expecting this to be a wave four, meaning that it is continuation to the downside just because it's been very three wave. If you look at how we've come off of the drop, it's been very much a three wave motion where we've come up, back down, and then we're coming back up again. Um, so I... We have not kicked off impulsively, in my opinion, so we're not in a position to start a clean run for a new bounce um, or a new run. So this ultimately, in my eyes, means that we are going to have to come back down, reset, and I would like to see it with a five-wave move come down for the wave five. And generally, if we have an overextended three, which is what we have here, uh, based upon the FIB relationships, normally the five can be truncated, um, meaning that it can be a little bit short, um, or it can just you know double bottom. So it could be a little bit short, looking around 4,700, double bottom 4,000, also right there at the weekly support level, and it could even move down to 3,200 in my opinion, depending on what the market you know, does, how it plays out, especially with this whole pandemic thing. It's having a lot of different play on the overall market, um, not just stocks, but crypto as well. So we'll see what that looks like and what it turns into as we go a little bit further. But this is something I am watching to see where if we are going to get a little pump, get close above it, or right after the close, again, pump and get a little bit back above it. 
You can see we've really uh, relied heavily on these EMAs whenever we've had our dips. So, I mean, even right here for the one before, we really just rode that 100 EMA for weeks. Um, this one, we rode that 50 EMA. And then even on the last low that we had uh, when we were around 3,000, we hit the 200 MA, and we're just squeezed in this pocket between the 200 EMA and the 200 MA when we just kind of just bounce back and forth until we were able to finally break it. So um, one thing to also pay attention to where we do have these local bottoms, such as here, Bitcoin does love to have one more wick down to set in a little bit lower low. We did it right here. The same thing, did it right here. Um, and you know, there's a few other ones before in the past, especially if you're not looking at the weekly, but the daily, where we've done that before. Um, so I would not be surprised to see this come back down, test this area one more time before we uh, can finally hopefully take off. So that's so what I'm looking at so far on the weekly. Uh, let's dive into a shorter time frame. I'm just going to dive straight into the four hour. Um, sorry, let's do a different one. It has a little bit less mess on it. Um, I don't even know if that one's even any better. There we go. All right, so a couple of things. We've really been, if you look at where our weekly supports and our resistances are, um, it, very much triangular, which is pretty common for a fourth wave. Um, and then even if we take, let's take these off for a minute just so we can see more of the price action. Um, it's just been, you know, corrective. I said very three wavy. Everything in here has been three wave. Um, I'm looking at this as a complex correction for a WXY. Um, WX and looking for one more move up. Um, I'll get you the actual price on the other chart. Overall, that is what I'm looking for. Um, very much correction. Um, few impulses, but very. ABC after ABC after ABC, no clear impulse, five wave move up, which means we are going to have to reset and come back down. Um, I've had a lot of um, RSI trend line supports uh, that we've you know, been able to rely on. Overall, we do have a very large support trend line on this wave. Right there. Um, as well as you know, these two local tops is where it's going to be tough to beat in regards to get over. Because every time we've tried, we've just you know shot right back down and flicked back down to it. Um, but we have been steadily climbing in price. So it'll be interesting to see you know what this will do once we get to this trend line again. Again, expecting it to happen sometime here in the near future. And I got a few prices where we can potentially land for the Y, or where we can dip back down and we're just going to roll back through it and hopefully get our five wave connecting us down to the downside and finishing off this overall move. But even looking at the composite index, again, we have very much triangular formation, which is pretty common for a fourth wave. Um, so let's dive into the 15 minute, get some more recent price actions and a few price predictions of where I think we could potentially go. All right. So if you guys are not familiar with WXY waves, it is uh, just it's a, considered a complex correction just because it's made up of multiple ABCs and how they're connected together uh, for just all three wave moves. So this is ultimately what I'm looking for for this last one here where we have a three wave move. And this would end up being a B for just a very long drawn out, which is very common for B waves. And looking for the, the C wave to come back up. And I also want to turn my pivots back on so you can kind of take a look at where we could potentially land. Because there's a lot of good confluence. So right here is what I'm talking about before from an extension. So right here is the 618, which is a corrective extension for this WXY at just around $7,400. And if you were paying attention before in the last one for the weekly close to get back above that 100 EMA, it's pretty coincidental that it is right here in the same zone too. So this is going to be an important area to watch to see if we are going to be able to break through it or if we're going to get shut down and that's going to cause us to start our fifth and final leg of this overall move down. So 7,400 is roughly where I am looking for us to have a pump up to get hopefully a rejection down. Um, just because again, nothing we've done has been five waves. It's all been three waves this entire move for this complex correction. So we do need to have another drop back down to the downside before we can reset and correct to start us off impulsively for a five wave clean move up. Um, 
going back down to the 15 minute for this whole zone right here. This has really just been a no trade zone for me. All I've done is just hit a few scalps, um, trying to catch some of the extremes for expanded Bs, um, expanded C waves, um, playing some divergence. That's all I've been interested in. I'm not interested in sitting in this just because wick after wick is, you know, it, corrections are kind of made to kind of made for you to lose your money if you don't know what you're doing. So haven't stayed in any trades really long uh, throughout this entire area here, but we can ultimately have one more drop down, test this trend line that kick us off to the C, or you know we could just trail sideways and then um, have a little dip, test that one, and then back up for a C. So that's what I'm looking for near term on Bitcoin, guys, to get us back up there. And then I would like to take a quick look at ETH, just because similar scenario, more of a triangular wave. And on my last video, what I was talking about before is coming back up here for the Y. And it's probably going to end up being roughly around there. But this three wave would be an A. Right there. Drawn out for a B. Um, and again, Bs are known for the triangular formation, so super drawn out B. And then up for a C, which would be another five wave move up to finish off, get us back up to that trend line. So ETH, I'm looking for anywhere between 150, 155 for a move up, um, or potentially coming back down 134, test this trend line, and then that should um, kick us off to get finish off that C wave and the overall Y to hopefully be done with this correction because no one really likes trading corrections. Um, so that's one thing that I'm looking for for near term on ETH. Um, again, guys, if you do have questions, feel free to reach out, but that's what I'm looking for for our, uh, today. Um, obviously, you know, once Monday kicks, that could totally turn off on to some different things, um, but I'll do another update as some things play out. But near term, really paying attention to these main areas just right here in the zone, uh, just because it is a very important area, um, especially for the wave formation of how we get up there um, to how we respond once we do get up there. So. Um, we're getting to a very key area on ETH and Bitcoin and overall crypto in general, um, just because it's getting quite squeezed and we'll see what this ultimately turns into. So um, one quick thing I did want to show you guys as well uh, was just the trend line support. Um, so with Bitcoin, I did talk about it. Similar thing with ETH where we have just flagged out. Same thing on the RSI, even from here, uh, we flagged out and if you want to Take it all the way back to the drop. You know, we have a little bit of a little ways to go before we can touch this trend line again. So there is room for this to drop back down, hit the trend line, come back up, create a new higher high um, with a higher low on RSI, create that divergence, and potentially. That could be enough to kick us off uh, for that drop. And what I mean by the divergence, we would come back down here, test it, come back up. Price action would come up here, 149, 155. Higher low on RSI, creating the bearish divergence, and that would kick us back down here to the downside. Um, so again, guys, share your thoughts, comments, um, your ideas. Hopefully, see you guys in the Discord. But hopefully, you enjoyed my content. Um, if if you are again first time make sure you guys do you do subscribe to the channel so you get updates on when the new videos do come out and wherever you're out in the world good morning good afternoon good evening or good night and i will hopefully see you guys on the discord